Welcome back. This is Adventures with Dr. Joe. Today we're going to change the nozzle on the Prusa XL. I got the semi-assembled version and it came with one nozzle and one nozzle adapter. Let's take a look at those parts. So this is the nozzle and the one that comes with it is 0.6 millimeters. I also bought some 0.4 millimeters and I made this nice nozzle case that's hinged and closes. But it also comes with this adapter. This adapter screws into the hot end and then allows you to put multiple types of different, different diameter nozzles, hardened steel nozzles, etc. Uh, and basically the way it works is because the threaded part of the hot end matches both the nozzle and the adapter. The threaded part of the nozzle and the threaded part of the adapter and the the replacement, just the nozzle tip, is really the same. But when you, when you change from the nozzle itself to this, you need to take the hot end out, which requires m removing the back plate, and then taking off two wires and taking the hot end out so you can properly mount the adapter to that. Uh, and there's a little risk of a little filament leak between these two parts. So this is, the, this is the standard nozzle, which I like a lot, and we're going to change this one today. It takes a 7 millimeter wrench, and the Prusa comes with some stamped steel wrenches that work. Something like this is dramatically better and easier. Before you change the nozzle, you need to go to Control, Temperature, Cool Down, which will allow the heat bed and the nozzle to basically reach room temperature so you can touch it. Otherwise, it's super hot. I've been printing PETG, it's at 230 degrees centigrade. These are the two wrenches, the stamp steel wrenches that come with the set. I use a 13 millimeter open end wrench and a seven millimeter box wrench like this to take out the nozzle. If, however, there's filament on the nozzle, this won't fit and so a small adjustable wrench such as this will be very helpful. Otherwise you have to heat it back up, remove that extra filament that's on the edge of the nozzle so that this wrench or this wrench will fit. Okay, let's open up the enclosure and start to address the nozzle change. The first thing to do is to take off this face plate which just pops off. It's a little finicky to put back on, but not bad. And then in this upper hole, we need to loosen the hot end with a Torx driver. So you can use this little T8 that came with the set, or you can use something like this, which I prefer. Goes in here, just loosen it a little bit, then the hot end will drop down, and I'll show you that. So once we release the Torx screw, the hot end comes down. I have a silicone sock over it, which will take away. That's nice to help keep the, the filament um, from the nozzle tip. And then we have the nozzle tip here. Again, 13 millimeter wrench for the hot end, eight millimeter wrench for the nozzle itself. So we'll unscrew the nozzle. Those stamp wrenches work fine. They're just a little this is a lot easier actually, so something to consider. And once we've got a good amount of the thread out of there, this thing will just drop down and come out. And then we take the new nozzle and just reverse the process. There's a small hole in the extruder head that this fits into. And typically I have to shine a flashlight to find it. And then, and then we just guide it through the hot end, keeping the hot end and the threaded part perpendicular so we don't cross thread it. And you can tell it should thread easily. And if it doesn't, we're not quite lined up right. Okay, once you've got it started threading, and it's got to be loose, it's got to be easy to thread because this is an aluminum hothead and you can strip those threads. It needs to go in very easily, smoothly, just like that. And then once you've reached the end, give it a little snug. 
Then we're going to basically tighten, we're going to bring it back up, tighten the, and you can tell if you're in properly. Because this has a little bit of give and put that sock back on and then put it back in position and tighten the the Torx bit there it is and then just push it over a little bit tighten it up and your nozzles replaced last thing is to put the cover back on it's again a little finicky get it going and you should hear that and it should just snap into place like that so hey if this was helpful please click thumbs up it helps the channel a lot consider subscribing. Thank you.